Hey guys, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from the VRV family of companies here at Bot RV in Fort Worth, Texas. Right behind me, I have a 2023 Tiffin Allegro Breeze 33BR. Let me show you three of my favorite things about the 33BR. Number one, this huge window in the galley area. Number two, one, two, three slides really opens up the interior of this coach. And number three, at 33 feet long, it's the shortest of all the Tiffin Class A's. Easy to park, easy to drive. All right, let's have a look on the outside of this coach before we go on the inside. We have nearly 100 cubic foot of basement storage under this, even though we're right at 33 feet long, so not a long Class A. We've got a battery tray here that easily pulls out to access our batteries. I like the fact that it's uh, housed there and not under a step or somewhere. Now we've got pass-through storage galore. I've got uh, two bay doors here that expose all this pass-through storage. This is an important bay right here besides the fact that it's right close to our patio uh, entrance to the coach and under the patio. We have our inverter in here, our inverter on and off switch, and our main power disconnect switch there as well. You need to familiarize yourself with some basic components in terms of electrical circuits and so on on your coach so you can troubleshoot out on the road. One of those things is to get familiar with the inverter. If that inverter is not on, you're not going to have power to your refrigerator and some outlets and so on. So be familiar with what that inverter does, how to reset it, where the breakers are, and so on. Most importantly for now, that's where the inverter is housed. I have lots of pass-through storage here as well. And then right here, we have an outdoor TV. Right in the wall of the coach, and there's a sound bar up there. I wish my Tiffin had a sound bar up here. We do have a TV here. It's an LG brand TV, but we don't have a sound bar, and I miss that because the sound's really pretty anemic on ours. But this has got a sound bar, and that's great. You have your furnace fan vent right here. Freshwater tanks are behind there. Nothing really to look at. Uh, coming back here, you have your uh, chassis batteries and then our chassis disconnect switch and then all things electrical right here. So we've got our bus bars and breakers and so on here in this compartment. Now, as I mentioned in the opening, it's a, a 340 horsepower Cummins engine. Not a lot to look at in here but I'll pop it open, it's easy enough to do. Radiator, easy access to engine oil checking and uh, transmission oil and so on back here. Coming around to this side of the coach is our 50 amp cord storage area here. This does have a surge guard integrated with your transfer switch right here. So you're protected from surges, electrical surges on the coach. And then our cooling fan motor as well as our air zerks in here and our tank drains for the air uh, are housed in this compartment. Tiffin's legendary door build on display here, really, really nice. Now this is our utility bay, our wet bay as we refer to this as. I like that Tiffin always puts the water pump right in here, easy to access. If you ever have an issue with the water pump, boom, it's right there. Now. All of this is receiving heat when the furnace cycles on, so all Tiffins are true four season coaches, and yet there's really no insulation between this and the outer world when you get into really super bitter cold temperatures, which is why you're often gonna see a GFI protected outlet in here. A lot of pe people will opt to put a tiny little cube heater in here just in an abundance of caution to keep everything warm and toasty and thawed out in here, particularly that water pump. Everything else is nicely labeled in here. You do have an LED light up here, your cable inputs here, your hose saver connection for your main water connection here, and your black tank flush. Always good to hit that blank tank flush if you're gonna store the coach for a while. Hook up a separate hose on there and let it run. Make sure your valves are open and let that run. It'll do a great job of keeping your black tank in top working order. And uh, of course our settings down here for hot and cold and whether you're gonna winterize it and, and bypass it here. You can turn your pump on and off out here simply by hitting that on. 
boom, and those valves are obviously open. That way I don't have to go inside to find the water pump switch. I can do it from out here. Again, if I'm doing some maintenance, hit that switch from out here. Just the opposite side of our pass-through storage you can see here. I like to put some carpet or something in here to keep things from sliding around or you can get that no skid stuff that you put in the bottom of toolboxes is really nice. I just, you know, if I put something in here that's slippery, it's gonna be sliding around during travel and banging up against things. So I like carpet or something like that in these storage bays. Uh, sometimes you'll have carpet in some coaches, this one does not. Here's our Dirt Devil Central Vac uh, canister right here. So obviously we do have a Central Vac system on this coach. Um, more storage right there, along with our central vac attachments, our propane, so this is not an all-electric coach. We do have propane on board. My wife and I love propane. We love to cook with propane, and fortunately there's still some coaches being made with propane. A lot of the industry is moving to all-electric coaches with true induction cooktops. This has a gas range in it. And then uh, we got our spaghetti spaghetti noodle mess in here with all of the wiring and so on. You're probably not going to need to access this very often, but know what's in here and obviously don't wash this. A lot of electrical components. And then your release right up here in the corner to release the generator compartment, which pops out in the front. This does have a 6K uh, generator on it. Of course, diesel fueled generator. Now you have solar too. So solar is going to help you extend the amount of time that you can dry camp. Solar is not going to replace shore power entirely, but it will extend the amount of time you can dry camp by keeping those batteries um, topped off. We have Girard awnings all the way around, uh, as well as for our entry door. So uh, the awning, of course, is mounted on the slide itself instead of the roof line. Uh, I like that because a lot of times when the, the awning is mounted on the edge of the coach, you know, you really don't need awning back here, and then your awning only comes out about six feet. The Girard awning is actually mounted on the slide itself, so it extends out a lot farther. And then, of course, you have your slide over the entry door, so when you're going in and out of the coach, you're not getting a collar full of water or whatever. Tiffin's famous for always having a, a window right here so that from the driver's seat, you can look down here and see if there's a child, a bike, a pet, a tree stump or whatever right here. And a lot of times the pets like to cruise down the road looking out there too. You do have a keyless, um, I shouldn't say keyless, a remote lock and unlock on this as well. So, hey, how about let's go inside and have a tour of the neat features on the inside of this 33BR. Before we go in the coach, let me show off the step cover. Just give this a pull. It's got magnets on either side. Pop it closed and now we have a footrest for the passenger. Push that out of the way and we can go in the coach. Come on. Now we're on the inside of this 2023 33BR Breeze. Now, a couple things to point out. This is the only floor plan in the Breeze lineup in 2023. It's the shortest Tiffin again, and when I say short, not only short in length, it's 33 feet long, but it's also short this way, 11 feet, eight inches tall. So minimum garage height, 12-ish feet, 13 would be better. But point being is if you don't have a huge garage, you may still be in luck to pull this under an RV port because it is the shortest. It's the lowest gravity, shortest overall in every sense of the word. So a lot of folks find this a little easier to maneuver, certainly easier to park because of its overall size. Now, I pointed this out in my three favorite things. We have three slides. Most importantly, opposing slides up in front really creates this spacious living area and then a slide in the back with the bed in the slide, which gives you a lot of room in the bedroom as well. Now this sits on Tiffin's Power Glide chassis, so there's independent front suspension. So I wanna point that out moving forward, which can also be serviced at any Freightliner location now. But let's start out in the living area and then we'll move our way back. This sofa does convert into a bed, so if you ever do have guests, kids visit you or whatever, this will fold out. It's a tri-fold into a bed. We have reading lights up here and you turn them on and off just by pushing up on the light itself. Now all the cabinets in here are going to be a little bit smaller 
than the Allegro open roads or the Phaetons or the buses. It's a smaller coach overall, but you still have a decent amount of storage, gas struts here that hold these cabinet doors open, really nice. And uh, turn this back on. We have both day shades and night shades throughout. So of course we have our day, full blackout night shades here and then day shades as well also up in the cockpit area. Now, if you have a small visitor, maybe a child, you can also convert the dinette into a bed. This table drops down and this becomes a bed, a sleeping surface as well. Now, unlike some of the open roads and, and phaetons and so on, these do not pull out to have storage, but you do have some storage under here. Simply pop off these cushions, take the seat cushion off, and then it's hinged. There's a piano hinge right here. So there is a little bit of storage under here. You can see there's a subwoofer located down there. Same drill on the other side. There's a little bit of storage. So for things like extra linens, blankets, seasonal shoes that you don't have to access quite as often, might be a good place to stow those. Now you'll see these little touch pads located everywhere. So we have lighting controls, so if you're sitting here, you don't have to get up and move somewhere for almost all of your lighting controls right here. Easy access behind the dinette. More storage up on top here as well. I also like that Tiffin keeps this all open instead of divided compartments, so it, it's a lot more flexible storage space. If you have larger items, you can still fit them up there. So even though this is only, I'm going to say probably 14 inches deep, um, it's very usable storage space, so I can appreciate that. USB charging ports over there on the wall as well, and I'll point out that you also have USB charging ports as well as household current uh, on this side as well. Now moving back from living area into more galley kitchen area, we have a Whirlpool uh, residential refrigerator here. It's a little, um, I don't know if I would say awkward, but it's kind of an odd placement for the refrigerator this far away from the galley. But I have to remind myself we're in a 33 foot coach. There's only so many places you can put the fridge. Where else would it be if it wasn't there? I don't know. Um, but anyway, fridge over here, freezer compartment on top. It is Whirlpool. Tiffin's great at using great brands in their own product. So using Whirlpool brand uh, appliances here. Back over to the galley. Pretty decent amount of storage. Again, up top here, this is all open. All of this space is open. Even though we're in a small coach, plenty big enough to put big stock pans and cookware up here. Really, really like that. Now, what's under door number one here? This is our gas. Wow, it just go. That kind of hurt. Hopefully, it's not going to draw blood. All right. And what's under door number one here? We have our propane three burner cooktop. I'm old fashioned, I love cooking with gas, and you do have a propane cooktop on here. Again, a lot of coaches these days are going to all electric, but we do have propane on this coach. Soft closed drawers all the way around, little utensil divider here, but you got soft closed drawers everywhere, which I really like. So three drawers, three drawers, and storage under the sink here. I always ask myself, where's the trash can going to go? Because it's going to go somewhere. A little odd, they give you a trash can here. Um, personally, I think I'm gonna mount it on the door or maybe put something else mounted on the door because when this is in here, there's not really room to throw things away. That's just me being picky, but <laughs> you do get a trash can uh, with this unit. Have a split stainless steel sink high-rise matte black faucet up here as well. We do you have a convection microwave here? It's not a huge one. Big enough though to warm up things. Uh, we've learned how to use our convection micro in our coach. It's a little bit different than a regular microwave, but we're, we're learning. But anyway, you do have a small convection microwave here. And then a little pull-out pantry space here, which is very, very handy with additional adjustable shelves here in this pantry. Very nice. And speaking of storage, you've got adjustable shelves top to bottom here. And I spy 
Signed by Bob and Judy Tiffin. How about that? And dated. That's great. I just love it that the, the, the guy, Bob Tiffin himself, takes the time to come out and put his signature right here on a cabinet door. Um, really fantastic. Um, all right, so before I leave this area, I'm going to work back up here a little bit. We do have a TV here, and I've got one in the front of the coach. So uh, a lot of people, why do they put a TV in the front? Mm, I don't know. If I'm sitting here in the dinette, that TV is the best viewing angle for me. If I'm sitting where the cameraman is standing right now, then this TV is going to have the best viewing angle. Interestingly, I notice that Tiffin has opted to put a different brand television here than in front, which is LG. Maybe that's because a frequent uh, complaint we get or hear about is that the remote control controls all the TVs at once and then they get out of sync and it's this thing. You have a different brand and presumably different remote here. Now, I will say this, if you have a problem with your remote getting the TVs out of sync, take a piece of black electrical tape, put it over that sensor and hide that little sensor on the TV that you use the least, then you're going to have to get the remote up really close in order to operate that TV. And that's been our solution in our coach. But anyway, if you've got a better suggestion, I would love to hear about it. And I always like to hear what you think about the coach that we're in too. We have a fireplace here as well, which is nice. So if you paid your 50 or 60 bucks a night at the RV park, yeah, use their power instead of your propane or electricity um, to heat the coach. That'll do a great job of it. I have another little touch pad right here with lighting controls on it. And then here's our, uh, our bathroom, the one bathroom that's in this coach. So we do have a porcelain foot flush toilet, solid surface countertop with a corner faucet here, storage here and storage underneath the sink medicine cabinet up here with lots of storage. Again, Tiffin's now putting adjustable shelves kind of everywhere, including up here in the medicine cabinet, which is pretty cool. Shower's not huge, but it's big enough. So I'm six feet tall, plenty of room to maneuver in here. This should be on your pre-trip checklist. Make sure that is latched so this door is not slamming open and closed going down the road. But it's a glass shower enclosure. I would probably keep a squeegee in here and squeegee that off after every shower. Do a nice job of keeping that clean. One thing I miss in here though is a cover over this skylight. Our motorhome has a, a cover that you can close this entire skylight off and keep it cooler in here. There's a lot of heat. It's about 85 degrees here in Fort Worth. There's a lot of heat coming in here. So I'm kind of wishing for a cover over this, um, but you do have additional height and nice natural light in the shower. Okay, right here is our sort of master control for the coach. If I go home, I have our lighting uh, schematic here where I can turn off and on all the lights, check our tank levels, uh, go to the temperature. So I have a rear and front uh, HVAC systems check battery status and what's charging and from where. This is great for diagnostics. Fan, our mid bath fan and galley fan, and then our slide outs here. So this is where you're gonna control the rear slide out. The front slides, preferably you're gonna control on the buttons up front, which I'll show you in just a minute. You can control them from here, but a word of caution, in the event that you have your seats back too far, you're gonna clip them with that slide not good. Another thing I'll point out is that now in this year model, they're all hydraulic slides. There's no electric slides on this coach. So the slide back in here, as well as the two up front are hydraulic slides. Now we have a king bed, a king memory foam uh, mattress on this. I, I'm a big fan of Tiffin's mattresses. The mattress in our motor home, which is a 2017 open road, by the way, uh, it's better than our mattress at home. They put great mattresses in these. Now, if you don't like it and you want to put your own mattress, you can. It's a residential size mattress, but this is a residential king mattress. So let's talk about the, the sleeping area. On either side of the bed, uh, there is a little room to put a bottle of water or something like that, and you have USB ports on either side. Plus, you have these little, little cabinet doors. 
I just love those. I, I don't really know what you do with these little cabinet doors. It's, it's big enough for like a bottle of water or something like that, but we do use them. I think I keep an extra phone charging cord in ours and whatever, but you, Tiffin's using every little bit of storage space in there. Now we do have our, our roller shades everywhere in back, reading lights on, uh, on either side of the bed, which the switch is right under here. And there's another touch pad on that side for lighting as well as household current on either side. So if you have a CPAP machine, you're in luck. Now, right here, I have a great TV viewing angle for our LG TV here from the bed area. Quite a bit of storage back here. So these drawers, obviously this is a pretty narrow uh, cabinet build out here. So these drawers are pretty narrow, but hey, you got four drawers here three drawers here and then our little entertainment cabinet so inside here i have our wally -E satellite receiver and our lg blu-ray dvd player yes still putting a blu-ray player in here i'm old enough i still have a lot of movies i want to watch on blu-ray yep you're in luck got one right there now um storage in here these are all motion sensor lights and there is a duct right here so this is putting um, climate controlled air inside your closet area so it's not getting super cold or super hot when you're parked. Your Truma on-demand water heater control is in here. Kind of an odd place for it, however you're not going to need to mess around with that much, but right there's where it is. Anyway, motion sensor lights pop on when you need them. There's actually another little uh, drawer in here, closet right across the top. And then when I open this up, I'll show you our washer dryer. So this is a combo washer dryer unit here. Um, does everything in one, one appliance. It's Splendid brand. It's the brand we have in our coach, although we have a split unit in ours. This is a combo unit to save space. Again, we don't have a ton of space in here, but you do have a washer and dryer. If you don't want it there, you can take it out and you'll have that much more storage in here, but it is certainly convenient to have that in here. All right, so let's go up to the front of the coach and continue our tour up there. Okay, now on our way up to the front, let me point this out. Here's our Dirt Devil Central Vac attachment. Boom, right there. These are great. I did the little bit of an eye roll when I bought a motorhome that first had that on it. I actually love it because now we don't have to take the little hand vac with us. The hose will reach from the back of the coach all the way to the front, plus it's really, really a good vacuum and this has it on it. Okay, now moving up into the cockpit area, I want to point out the slide switches, which I alluded to before. You do have these switches here and here. They're here for a reason and some Tiffins, they'll put them actually on the seats themselves also for a reason, because if this seat is back too far, it is going to catch that slide. You don't want that. So with this switch being right here, you're obviously going to be watching this and it just uh, prevents uh, guys like me from paying stupid tax and running the slide in on the back of the seat. Now here's another neat little thing. You can pop these off of here and it acts just like a remote control. You can stick it in your pocket. Why would you ever want to do that? Go outside, say you're parked next to a pine tree with some limbs or you're really, really close to another RV or something, you can go out there and watch that slide go in and out by using this switch right here if you're doing some diagnostics. I have to thank uh, one, of our, one of our old RV techs here, Brent McCamey, for giving me that little quick tip. It's also how you replace the battery. It's got a little disc battery in the back. Um, just like everything else, the battery will eventually uh, go dead. You can pop it in there. It looks like a watch battery. And then when you're done, just pop that back up on there and you're good to go. Again, all these slides are now hydraulic slides in 2023. So here in the cockpit area, very comfortable seats. You know, um, I don't know who's actually making the seats now in the upholstery. It used to be flex steel 
Tiffin uh, gets these manufactured locally. They're really, really comfortable. I also like the fabric very much. Even though it's a vinyl material, it breathes. It's very comfortable, ex especially for extended trips. Now, everything is digital on this. Um, when I hit the switch uh, to the on position, it'll bring up the gauges. And right over here, this little uh, switch is where you're going to control through all the different adaptive cruise control, your brightness on the dash, other customized settings, your trip uh, meter, tire pressure is integrated so you can keep a, an eye on your tire pressure here, accelerator position and so on. Uh, lots of features that you can customize right here. You have your left and right mirror adjustments and they are heated as well. Um, and then of course your gear selections up here. We've got our engine brake, auxiliary start, pedals in and out so you can adjust this to your own personal, personal liking. Over here we've got our rear cameras um, and side cameras I might add for the coach keeping an eye on everything when you're backing in plus when you're going down the road. Solar shade and nightshade right here, love these, power. Up here I have two USB ports for charging and two 12 volt cigarette lighter style ports for charging here as well. Got a map light so if you're stopping at a truck stop late, late and all you need is a little bit of light overhead you've got that and our gen start right here. Of course our radio right here which is AM, FM, you can do satellite radio and so on. All of our HVAC controls here. And then two handy little drawers right here with an, an, another cup holder. I was about to complain that there was only one cup holder here, but there is a second one in this drawer, which I very much appreciate. Um, still not enough. I could stand for even another cup holder, maybe in the door here, because I'm, I'm always, I've got water and coffee in addition to, you know, my wife's beverages over there. But anyway, enough of that. Very comfortable driving position. We do have fans up on top here to help circulate the air uh, and keep you comfortable. Now, up on top here, two very shallow little cabinets, but yet enough of room in here that makes it worth having a door and having a little extra storage space up there. Behind door number three, we've got our inverter um, controls up here. Our awning switches are in here. Our Wi-Fi switch as well as uh, household current switches up here as well. Hopping over to the other side, I've got um, our Wi-Fi module right here as well. Your top out light disc, uh, ignition disconnect. So if you take this, plug it up here, now those TVs and everything aren't gonna work back there. Pop, pop it in there and we do have uh, TV going to the entertainment components in, in the back. Um, our WineGuard satellite system uh, switch right here. And then an AB switch right here for your cable input inside the utility bay. There's two different coax cable connections. So maybe you've got cable connection at a campground as well as cable or satellite TV in another and you can switch uh, back and forth right there. Okay, point out a couple more things here on the passenger side. Close this so it's a little easier to see. You do have USB charging ports, both a USB-C as well as a regular USB port right here. You have a passenger fan right here behind my head. Feels really good and a map light. Now this operates uh, independently from the map light over there. So if you need to navigate your driver, you're not having to bother him or her over there. You can turn that light on individually. And of course, a cup holder here. Both of these seats do spin around to add to the living area up front on the coach as well. All right, so again, we are in a 2023 Allegro Breeze, the shortest of all the Tiffin Class A's in the whole uh, Tiffin Class A lineup. It's the only model of Breeze that they make now. It's the 33BR. I like it a lot. Uh, I like it because it's maneuverable. I like it because even though it's only 33 feet long, it's very spacious in here. And uh, yeah, let's face it, I'm a Tiffin fan. Bought one myself before I worked here and long before I was doing any videos for Tiffin or any other brand. Hey guys, my name is Mike. I always appreciate you joining me. And I also appreciate it if you take a moment to click like and share and subscribe below. 
That way, when we post more videos like this, you'll be the first to know. But let me hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think about this coach. If you have questions, we'll do our best to help. Until next time, enjoy the open road, and I'll see you then.